We have seen countries taking their own uh, national responses, developing their own policies vis-a-vis -vis COVID, while at the same time uh, asking uh, the European Union to step in financially. So if you see, there is a bit of a tension between this autonomy of the states who wanted to take care of the sanitary crisis, but then trying to come together when it comes to finding the uh, sufficient funding to support the crisis. I think now that we are entering the second phase of COVID, at least from a sanitary perspective, we see uh, a, a, a more desire to actually find a coordinated fashion. Uh, and that's why the European Commission came up with a roadmap that we try to coordinate the way in which countries will try in the future to converge when potentially lifting uh, some of the restrictions they have been introducing over time. However, given the high unprecedented economic interdependence and social interdependence, the effectiveness of every single national response is weakened by the lack of coordination. So we have to make sure that the Commission will not only come up with those criteria, common criteria that we have just heard about, but also enforce them and be bold enough to knock the door to a country which is too slow or too fast in either lifting or failing to reintroduce um, uh, restrictions when those are, are necessary. And this, I think, will be the moment of truth, seeing to what extent the European Union leaders are ready to listen to the European Commission when lifting their measures or reintroducing the measure and therefore coordinating their sanitary response with the final economic uh, roadmap in the future, which is still unfolding. It is not entirely clear to what extent European leaders are ready to actually mutualize uh, their own uh, effort at looking for new credit in the future. And we heard that many instruments are on the table, but we don't have yet a clear cut decision. So there is some volatility, there is some uncertainty, but certainly there is more desire to come together to counter this crisis that when it erupted uh, uh, in, in February. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.